2 Timothy chapter 1. This letter is from Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by God's will, sent out to tell others about the life he has promised through faith in Christ Jesus. It is written to Timothy, my dear son. May God our Father and Christ Jesus our Lord give you grace, mercy, and peace. Timothy, I thank God for you. He is the God I serve with a clear conscience, just as my ancestors did. Night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. I long to see you again, for I remember your tears as we parted, and I will be filled with joy when we are together again. I know that you sincerely trust the Lord, for you have the faith of your mother, Eunice, and your grandmother, Lois. This is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So you must never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. And don't be ashamed of me either, even though I'm in prison for Christ. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the proclamation of the good news. It is God who saved us and chose us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was His plan long before the world began, to show His love and kindness to us through Christ Jesus. And now He has made all of this plain to us by the coming of Christ Jesus our Savior, who broke the power of death and showed us the way to everlasting life through the good news. And God chose me to be a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of this good news, and that is why I am suffering here in prison. But I am not ashamed of it, for I know the one in whom I trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until the day of his return. Hold on to the pattern of right teaching you learn from me, and remember to live in the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. With the help of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard what has been entrusted to you. As you know, all the Christians who came here from the province of Asia have deserted me. Even Phagellus and Hermogenes are gone. May the Lord show special kindness to Onesiphorus and all his family, because he often visited and encouraged me. He was never ashamed of me, because I was in prison. When he came to Rome, he searched everywhere until he found me. May the Lord show him special kindness on the day of Christ's return. And you know how much he helped me at Ephesus.' 